Hi guys. I think you are not bored yet. Uh, so, let me introduce myself. I am Pranav Joshi. And why I say not bored? Because everything started late. So you might have some plan and you might got uh, disturbed. So, so I am from pharmaceutical industry. And one thing let me tell you now is I am not going to talk about anything about medicines. And not about anything about pharmaceutical industry as well. Uh, I'm leading the user experience team in one of the leading pharmaceutical <coughs> companies called Merck Pharmaceutical. You might have heard that name. It's a 126-year-old company, and we do a lot of creative stuff. And let me tell you one more thing is we don't do creativity on medicine. Apart from medicine, we do a lot of creative stuff. So I'm here <laughs> going to talk not about medicine, but how do we do creative stuff, and how do we think creatively, and that's why this title is How to Think Creative. Now let me tell you one thing very clearly here is, in 15 minutes, I'm not going to make you creative. So I'm going to disappoint you here. Creativity is, there are a lot of factors, but I'm trying to put my points there, which helps you to think quietly. Let's start with this question. If you have a $200, three months of time, one laptop, computer, any internet connection, what do you do? Can you just try to think of this? Keep this answer with yourself. Let me go to the person who did this. I don't know if you came across this news. There is a person called Trevor Chapman. I don't know how to pronounce properly. So he is a 33-year-old guy. He spent, uh, he spent three months on computer. He buys stuff from Alibaba. I think you know all this thing, Alibaba website, right? So what he is doing just one, two things differently. One, he built a website. On the website, he put videos. So let me give you an example. He buy a toothpaste from Alibaba.com. He used it himself, record a video, and he put that features. This is amazing. Wow, my, my teeth are 12% shining more than the previous. So those kind of information, he put it in one or two minutes video. And he made one million in 92 days. And this news is from, and still it is on. It's not hidden somewhere. So it's a, it's a news in number of websites you will find on the news sites. Just 92 days, $200, three months of time, and that's all. And what he did, he never invented anything. He just bought from a specific website called Alibaba. And he understand that if I buy this torch light, and if I put it in my way, so my community, in my country, people will buy it, that's all. So uh, it makes sense that uh, what he or other people are trying to do is make something relevant for those community. Now this thing, I'm very sure every one of us have seen it, many of us have it, but there is one problem. If I am 75 year old, and if I have to use this on a staircase, and we all have help, right? Some of the older people will say, Auntie, wait, let me help you, because it's very difficult. So someone come out with this idea, and what they did is they put three wheels, which is very easy. There are a number of different size of wheels, and it's quite getting common in a number of countries. Someone was extra mile, so he did this. He, he really understand that the old person who is going to walk 12 minutes and going to buy some things and coming back again 12 minutes, he or she will get tired at the age of 72. So he or she need to sit down, right? Just open the chair and voila, there you go. So that's exactly what we do, we try to simplify the ideas, we try to relate with the real pain. And this is what I'm trying to put the message here. So let's take a few more examples. We have seen this cigarette butt, right? I'm, I, I'm, I don't smoke, I'm not advertising anything about cigarette. But there are community of smokers who produce 7 billion cigarette butts every year. Let me repeat this number, 7 billion? in 365 days, cigarette butts are produced. What we do? We try to write article, write a comment somewhere and say you shouldn't smoke, you shouldn't throw this and that. One company, they come out with a brilliant idea, they call it TerraCycle. This company, they come out with a very brilliant idea, take the cigarette bird, put some kind of chemical, some kind of mechanism, and convert these cigarette birds into something we can sell. So material is free, it's available on the road, right? <laughs> so that's what they did. They are hitting the roads and they have few hundred or more than hundreds of collection centers now in US and some of the other countries. So what they do, they collect the cigarette butts, 
they can only do this kind of thing. I can assure you in three years time, you will be sitting on a plastic chair in one of the shopping mall or maybe in a food court. The shop, the chair is made from cigarette butts. Within three years time, you will be seeing this. This thing is getting very popular. Thank God these guys exist. So creativity is nothing to do but to connect certain dots. Let's take uh, one more example. We all have done this and still today we are doing this. When something new comes up, we are in the queue. Don't know why I'm in the queue. I, I happened to meet one uncle. There was a long queue in Angmo queue. The people who are in Singapore, they know what is Angmo queue. Angmo queue is an area and there was a long queue going on. So I was just, I was with my family and happened to ask and say, uncle, what queue is for this? Oh, don't know, there's something giving. <laughs> and I, I swear it's true. So the, the, the meaning, the uncle was trying to say is, they are giving something, so I'm in the queue. So queue is a very lovely word here. And we all like to stand in the queue, and we number of times we do not ask that question, one single question to ourselves. One guy asked this question to himself. There is a guy called Ole. So as you can see, uh, the, the company name, uh, the name is somehow chopped off, I don't know in this, but it's the same, S-A-M-E, same Ole Lion Dudes LLC. What this guy did is, six years ago he was jobless. He had no talent, so he put his thoughts and said, I am jobless, point number one. Point number two, I have no talent. So I can't do circus and make money. I can't play guitar and make money. What can I do? I'm good for almost one thing is my body, just stand. So what can I do with the standing? And come out of the brilliant idea. When the iPhone came, he went on the website and said, whoever wanted to buy that iPhone, I will stand in the queue for you. And when the number comes, you just come up, I will call you, you just come up and stand in behalf of me. Tell me how much you pay. 20, 30, and the bidding went to $100. And he said, wow, man, this is amazing business. I, I like to go for this business. <laughs> Within six months, he started this business by registering this company. And these guys are officially employed people who are jobless and now they are officially employed here. <laughs> and there is a new term in economy now. It's called line sitting service never heard before <laughs> yeah line sitting service is a job and they make a lot of money and this guy if I, 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 I encourage you to go and read this article very interesting so interviewer is asking him what is that one thing in your six years of career you enjoyed and he said there was one day I received a call and the call says you go to certain place <coughs> There is a long queue for uh, muffin or something, I can't remember. So there is special food. You know there are some local special food which is not available everywhere. So go to that place, buy that thing and deliver to this place to my mom and I will pay, pay you everything. And he say that product cost me $4 and I charge $140. Oh, wow. The whole thing took three hours. Can you believe that? I mean, people are ready to pay because I'm overseas, my mother's birthday, and I know my mother, every birthday, we give this uh, some kind of sweets or muffin. It's a value. There is a creativity involved when you start thinking that where is the gap. Let's look into a little bit of detail. I swear this is my last example. And this is the best example I always like to use. I, do I need to say anything? You can read, right? <laughs> So people from China, when they travel in UK and some of the Scotland and other countries, they like one thing is fresh air. This is a oh, so good fresh air. And of course, there is an issue in China, the air thing, so you know, right? People sitting down there, doing nothing. These are the farmers, by the way. And you see the stick behind, it's a plastic bag. They, that's the only tool. And this lady is this person's wife. She have another bag. So what they do is officially. I mean, uh, you cannot just cheat people, right? You cannot just open the jar and close the jar and say it's hundred and fifty dollars. You have to do a little bit of hard work. So what they did? Oh, let's take a bag again and just run and put it. And just close the jar and say, oh, we made hundred and fifteen dollars. And this is a serious business. There are a few more business I am not including here. There is one more business. Let me tell you here is. Cuddling service is a business. Try to find this on Google. Cuddling service means you go there and say, I'm missing my family, this or that. They will hug you. That's a nice lady. They will hug you and no sexual uh, involved, okay? No, no sexual content involved. They'll just hug you as a mother or sister and sleep for one hour with them. Just sleep like your mother is sleeping with you. $80 this lady is charging. Russian lady, 11 years, she started almost now, six years in a professional business. 
and she is married for married for 20 years. Her husband says, I have no problem with that. You can Google this kind of news. So these are the creative ideas. People simply think that someone's someone is missing. Let me just provide him $80 an hour. That's a great business. So our guru in creative thinking, this is what this guy has said. And always he's trying to say that. Creativity is just connecting things, not inventing things. And this is a great sentence. People will feel shy when you say, how did you create this? Oh, um, you know, why? Because actually you are connecting something, but you have seen it. People who never saw a ghost movie, they don't have a ghost image. That's what science says. They don't have a ghost image in their brain. So we, we try to learn, why is always in a white color? I don't know. Only, only in that town they have white color clothing? I don't understand. So, so what you see, you try to connect the dots. That's what, uh, that's what the creativity is all about. Now, I, uh, how we practice in our company, I have tried to put it here in a very simplistic way. And people who wanted to take photo, I have one tip for you. So if you see on the corner, when you see the green, Icon comes up, that means now you are ready to take a photo. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's what we US people do. So let me let me go and uh, explain this. So as you can see, the orange circle says finding or seeing the gap. Right? Somebody saw that the old lady when she had to carry the trolley, shopping trolley, it's a problem. So they saw the gap, and what did he? They tried to put certain solutions, and whatever the match, that thin line, whatever match these two things. That's we call creativity. Creativity means solve problems simply. Cigarette butts are available, seven billion cigarette butts. How much millionaire you can make from cigarette butts, right? If you can come out with some chemicals, put it together, some mechanism, put it together, put 10 people, and your factory is ready to manufacture plastic stuff. So this, this is what we do, and this is what we think. Finding a problem, and then relate it with what kind of solution can be done. Connecting dots. So we understand that there are certain kind of gaps, and the gaps is equal to opportunity. Let me explain that. So we saw just now time waste. Somebody's time waste, wanted to pay $140. Can you do this three hours job for me? Can you stand in a queue for me? I will pay you $100 for the iPhone. And that's why the line setting service is the best example for time waste. Product waste, number of time product have been wasted. We take this product and try to put some kind of logic on top of it. Cigarette butts, right? Irritation, this is a GoPro example. GoPro guy, the person who invented GoPro, I guess everybody know what is GoPro, the world's smallest camera, right? So this camera, the guy invented because he wanted to do some uh, activity, physical activity, which is a sports activity. The problem is, in that sport activity, all the cameras are either too heavy or too dedicated. It broke. So he came out and said, can we have a strength and waterproof and this and that. That's why he invented. When he saw irritated, he got irritated, he invented stuff for himself. Comfortability. It should have comfort comfortability. Now, uh, people who are in Singapore, I I think you can relate to this. There is a company called Li Ho Tea. So there are bubble teas. A bubble tea is a concept. And even though you are from any other country, you know there are sealing machines. So they give you some kind of liquid to drink and they seal it with some kind of machine. Then you do your samurai stuff, right? Take the straw and pop, pop, and then it goes somewhere here, and then after third try, say, yeah, got it, man. So that thing, these people, they take out. This Li Ho company, they give you a lead, which have two holes. One hole is for thicker straw, one is for thinner straw. So you are drinking some kind of material which have bubbles, some kind of jelly. So you can drink this from thicker straw. So it's a very simply, they, and this, this is a great idea. Pepsi is working on this kind of ideas, and they call it mouth experience in Pepsi. And they, they are making a number of products uh, based on mouth experience. How to make it much easier. <laughs> and there are two more points. Please make me lazy. That's what Windows company and other companies have done it. That's where the tapping system is so popular. Why we like to tap? Oh, photo is done. Tap, my $100 is gone. I bought a t-shirt. <laughs> Mitch, lazy, that means you have opportunity to make money by making people lazy. This is the last point in, in, in the gap opportunity. Improve existing product. We saw just now the trolley. They put three wheels. Right? Okay, let me put the camera icon so you are ready. <laughs> So when they put the trolley, they convert the wheel system, so now it's much easy to carry. And somebody come out of the chair, so whenever you are tired, you wanted to sit down, you are ready to go. So how do we practice creativity and how to practice creativity? Let me share some thoughts here. 
Mostly we do doodles. You, we all are doodling, right? There are some piece of paper, someone smarter pen, we chew it, or steal and rob and say, can I have five minutes? And then we put the ideas, right? We try, to, whenever the idea comes in, ideas always comes in a washroom and disappear in washroom. So we, what we do is we don't let it go from there. We come out, we try to put it on a paper. And put it on a paper in a way where you can explain, I mean your idea can explain to a six-year-old child what is it, what are you trying to solve. If you have to talk more than three sentences and each of your sentences have more than six words, your idea is not working. Something is very wrong. You have to repair your idea. This is our experiences. Each sentence should have six words and there are maximum three sentences. And your idea should be implanted in someone's brain and say, aha, you make a point. If this does not come out, then it's not working. Try to explain this to a six-year-old old boy. Once you explain in a simple way, there are a number of points you will find out and say, there are gaps. I still need to simplify it. I still need to build something. I still need to connect this. Browse for it, libraries, books, or websites. I don't need to tell where to go for uh, finding ideas. One of the best thing I do is a micro, micro learning. When, let's say, for example, we are working for uh, anesthesia patient, anesthesia related product, for example. So what we do, in my case, we go to a number of websites where there are anesthesia related things are happening. We tag them on my Facebook. So next time you just open your Facebook and you are seeing anesthesia, anesthesia, anesthesia. So it's very fast for me to whatever happening in that community, what kind of things we can improve. We can, if we don't have more ideas, more, more information, we can't be creative. Our information should be too much or, or excessive. Then only we can get a variety of ideas. Applying art, this is an interesting thing. When you learn something, try to come out with a very small piece, something like this. So come out with something before you go to a real product. We call it MVP, which is a minimum viable product. Try to tell to 10 people and say, does it make sense to you? Does this try to solve your problem? Yes, then we go for a bigger uh, bigger journey, which is in the next slide I'm going to talk about. There is, this is a golden rule, which I always mention. Uh, it, we try to see as a limited stuff. Imagine that you have $10,000 and you are in a Brazil. And you have to stay 10 days. $10,000, 10 days in Brazil. You can do wonders. But now suddenly you have only $100. You have to stay in Brazil for 10 days you will definitely become very creative. Where can I find a room in a $10 place? Can I have? Where can I find this food in $2? You will start struggling your brain, asking around and finding alternatives when you have limited stuff. When you have a lot more stuff, that's where creativity dies. This is a very common nature. You know, the, those poor countries have a lot more creative stuff comes out because they are having limited stuff and try to think a little bit of limited stuff and that's why you will come out with more creative options. This just, just not what we saw was how to think, but then there are action required. A number of people think and that's all. The action is about building that MVP in three months time. Come out with something which people can say, yes, I wanted to buy. They wanted to hold it. They wanted to use it. If it is a toothbrush, give it to them and say, this is how it's going to work. Do you think it make, makes sense for you? That's why the company like Kickstarter, people build something as a small package and they put it on a Kickstarter kind of website or Indiegogo website where they can use to build more community people and people follow them. So try to do in the 90 days and then 100 and, uh, so 18 months, right, you will come out with the real product. That's that's the ideal situation, situation or scenarios. Second one is to build a pipeline. Nowadays we have this access, so like Alibaba.com or Gumtree or those kind of websites. So put your product, promote them, let people come. It's a very small scale you can start from there. Hook back, this is a very uh, interesting thing and nowadays happening is an ecosystem. You sell your product one time and then people disappear. Don't do that. Come out with some kind of ideas where every two or three months they come back and say, I want to. So you know Nespresso coffee? They have a capsules, right? Printer last time, $240, one laser printer they used to sell, a company like HP. Now they're selling only in a $40. Why? Because they don't want your money one time. They want your money when you buy a cartridge. So that's how they are changing the system. Every time cartridge finish, you have two people. One is the people who come with the injection and say, I can feel your cartridge. The other one is say, I'm professional and let, uh, let's buy my cartridge. So the, the, but try to build an ecosystem where they can come back to you again and again. Of 
course, since you guys are here, I will not let you go without telling my story, right? It's a best chance. People don't listen at your home, so you come and tell here. <laughs> if you go Google, the, the upper red box first, fruit juice business, right? If you go and Google this, Google will give you some kind of links like this, and there is one link from SlideShare. It says how to do a fruit juice business, how to set up a business and stuff like that. You click on that link, that's where my slide will come up. And so far, 125,000 people have viewed it in five years' time. I have received more than 3,000 emails, more than 200 phone calls, and a number of people have, in variety of countries, they have started a fruit juice business. And they have asked a number of times um, my suggestion, say, can you do this or can you do that? How I come out with this idea? Why I come out with this idea? I did this in uh, like 15, 16 years back. I ran a small fruit juice business in India, back in India while I was working there. And th then I moved to Malaysia and then I moved to Singapore. So that time we closed, closed down this and I thought it was a great, you know, great experience and knowledge. Why can't I put 10 slides and put everything I know? I put it everything. That's what I believe, I put it everything. And people from Google, you can, uh, once you scroll this, people from Google also have commented and said, I'm a Google product manager for this, 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 and I wanted to use your product presentation in one of our product. Can I, can you please let us know how much you charge? And I say, no, it's free, please take it. People from Harvard, they have asked me and said, I'm a professor in this, and I'm going to use your slide in my presentation for certain students to explain certain things, so can I use it? So, the, the message if you have something and you are not building it, it's useless. It's, it's born and died in your brain. Please share it for free. If, if you think it's free, share it for free. I have received, let me give you a very, very funny example and that's where I'm going to finish it. <laughs> I have received uh, from somewhere from Oman or Qatar at 2 a.m. I received a phone and constantly somebody was calling me. Normally, I, uh, we don't, in Singapore, it's a culture, right? We don't have a ringtone and we don't have, you know, those vibration and all. But that day, it happens to have a vibration on my phone. So I wake up and pick up the phone and the guy say, very sorry, brother, I don't know which country you are from. I got your number from this website and I wanted to sponsor you. Use, open up the juice bar business, whichever you are explaining on the website, and whatever money you want, you take it from us. So I connected a number of dots and those guys are working there. I'm not involved. My job is fine. I'm happy with that. So, but the, these are the things. People will come with a variety of opportunities. They will share. A number of people have a, teach me some of the things and say, you know what, in your presentation you have told this, but this one in our country is not possible. You will learn from there. Maybe five years later, ten years later, right now my community is 125,000 viewers. They, these are the people who are connected with me. They are educating me. If tomorrow I wanted to learn something, I am ready to go. So, you guys are invited to connect on LinkedIn. And thank you very much. <laughs>